This Dexter Dry installation video covers the majority of our recommended installation procedures, but be sure to check out all of our installation videos. Each box of coiled Dexter Dry contains an orange card with a QR code. Scan the code and it takes you right to DexterDry.com. Click the installation instructions and look for the instructional videos tab. The first video to watch is installing coilable Dexter Dry, followed by coiled Dexter Dry perpendicular installation. Learn how to avoid capillary action by watching our drip edge video. Our installing Dexter Dry video provides information on the freeze board and picture frame details. And our decks that span over 20 feet videos, parts one and two, provide all the information you'll need for those scenarios. By watching the videos in the order we provide them, you'll learn about proper compression. Coiled Dexter Dry needs to be properly compressed, and these are the tools you'll need to use to make sure you compress Dexter Dry to achieve the dry zone. Coiled Dexter Dry videos provide all the necessary information you'll need for proper caulking techniques. DexterDry.com also offers written downloadable PDF instructions. We start by routing a proper groove and a freeze board that will be attached directly to the house. The freeze board will overhang 3 inches on both sides of the deck to allow for the picture frame detail. A conduit cutter is great for precision cutting of the Dexter Dry flange. Using a rubber mallet to seat the flange will come in handy throughout the project. Making sure the groove is cleaned is essential, here using a compressor to remove the debris. Incorporating a drip edge around the perimeter of the deck is also essential in the Dexter Dry installation. The drip edge is cut on the underside of each board on both ends, measuring 3 quarter to 1 inch from the end. This cut is done prior to board installation. The drip edge should be 7 16 to a half inch deep. The key is to make the drip edge deep enough to go past the groove of the board. This prevents water from wicking back and through the flange. Use the rubber mallet to set the first deck board. The proper overhang dimension is an inch and three eight. Use the proper compression tools on each joist and attach the first board. Attaching the deck boards requires top mount screws. The Dexter Dry flange utilizes the groove or slot to create the dry zone. We simply continue this process until we reach the last deck board. Installing each flange and deck board with the rubber mallet, cinching them tight, and top screwing the boards down until we reach the last one. Once the first two deck boards are installed, the rest can run long and be trimmed later. But be sure to cut the drip edge in on the underside of all deck boards on both ends prior to installation. Using the same router bit from the freeze board, we'll now prepare the final board for installation. Notice the 45 degree angle cut into the board. It's the first step in our solution to picture framing the decks or dry deck. We'll use the table saw to cut in the drip edge. Tap the last board in with the rubber mallet tightly and install using the top mount screws. Continuing with the picture frame detail, We'll rip a board to an inch and a half and miter it to accept the 45 degree angle of the last deck board. Flip the board around and run it through the table saw again. You now have two inch and a half wide rips for both sides of your picture frame. Simply measure the piece from the tip to the vertical piece of Dexter Dry on the freeze board. Mark that measurement on the inch and a half wide piece you ripped for the picture frame. Cut a 45 degree angle on it using the chop saw. Route the end and install. The miter on the deck board is cut to an inch and five eighths in from the tip. This leaves an eighth of an inch gap for drainage. Notice the small spacers he made out of the scrap. Now that the picture frame detail is complete, we're ready to work on the fascia boards. We use inch and a half by inch and a half blocks to bump out the fascia board. We space the blocks 12 to 16 inches apart and attach the fascia boards to the blocks. The result is an attractive yet cost-effective way of achieving a picture frame look while providing a unique way of allowing water to run off the deck surface. Using screws that incorporate color-coordinated plugs helps achieve the invisible fastener look. So to review, 
The process begins with the routed freeze board and continues through the last deck board. The drip edge ensures no wicking of runoff, and the picture frame and fascia system finish the deck for an attractive way of achieving the dry zone. We suggest the pitch of the deck of an eighth of an inch per foot. Pitching the deck forward with the deck boards parallel to the house is ideal as we see the water cascade over the deck boards and the Dexter dry flanges, running off the front of the deck. We suggest utilizing surface mounted posts for the handrail systems. By doubling up all the perimeter 2 by framework, we're able to solidly mount the posts properly. We hope this video answers your questions about installing the Dexter dry flanges. We will continue to provide more detailed videos to help you achieve the dry zone. Videos like how do I use Dexter dry on decks larger than 20 feet. We'll explain how to incorporate a butt board. What if my deck boards run perpendicular away from the house? And we'll explain how to incorporate a gutter when those situations do occur. Thanks for watching.